Hey there folk, welcome to Street Gem. This time I didn't have much time with all of these lenses. For this guy asked me if he could try some of his Leica glass prior to his purchase. But I think these samples will give you some idea after all. Please note that all shots were shot in the Eterna profile and nothing were played with. Leica 90mm Elmeret f2.8. So this very shot was taken with the Leica Elmeret. And as you probably can see, colors are pretty correct and images are definingly sharp. As we look at the corners, they drop in sharpness quite dramatically. And the image circle is pretty tight on this one. Even wide open, it vignettes very heavily. Well, moving on to the Leica Apos Sumicron 50mm f2 Asperg. As we look at the sample shots, image quality and the color rendition are flawless, even getting close to the corners. When we zoom into the 250%, sharpness continues to impress. Even though the lens vignettes on the corners, the image circle still works. So this is, in my opinion, is a keeper. For these are the mistakes that are pretty easy to fix. Next is the Voigtlander Nocton 40mm 1.2. As we look at the samples, we notice that the image is softer compared to the Leica lenses. As we zoom in, we see that it is actually pretty salvageable. Here is the handsome me. <laughs> we have slight issue of vignetting on this lens. I think has the best flanging circle up to this point. But it gets better. Again, for the reference, it's good enough in the sharpness area. Leica Elmar 35 f3.5 It produces all that lovely Leica colors and sharpness. And surprisingly, the image circle keeps on gathering light. Even if it is not such a wide aperture lens, I wouldn't say it is glowingly sharp or anything, but it could be used as an effect. Though, there are much cheaper lenses with way more pronounced effects. Leica Summicron 28mm f2 is our last Leica M mount lens, but we will see two more manual focus lenses as we look at the samples. This lens deserves its price tag. The contrast and the sharpness are, as you can see, are top notch. And having the circle being a wide angle lens at such a small size truly makes this a little gem. Well, now I will show you two more lenses that were made for M42 mount cameras back in the day, but still, in my opinion, are worth looking at. The Carl Zeiss Biotar 58mm f2 Flectagon 35mm f2.8 lenses. So I'll start with the Biotar. As we look at the samples, it is pretty sharp and full of character. Lots of cat eyes all over the place. Which is these ones are famous for anyway. And the Flectagon. This lens is also great for the system and is pretty sharp and contrasty. Plus, covers the whole image circle of the large sensor of the GFX bodies. I would say the only downside is the focus distance with this lens. Well guys, I think this is going to be all. Thank you for watching and if you haven't yet, please subscribe to keep in touch with me because there are more to come like these. Well, actually, you, you should like, if you're like interested in like a glass, you are probably interested in the street photography. And please do check my Instagram account and other videos for actual street photography videos. Alright, ciao.